Now, brand new information just in earlier today having to do partly with rainfall. Let's get it over to meteorologist John Birchfield and John. We keep our eyes on Lake Erie for multiple reasons, but a brand new algae forecast was just released today. What was the finding on this? Yeah, Chris, we're still a couple months away from the peak of the annual harmful algal bloom, but scientists are starting to get a feel for how this year is going to pan out based on recent weather conditions. Now we assign a number to this this year expected to be around a three and a half, which is to say it's not going to be quite as widespread as past years, but it will still be just as toxic. Now the years we always remind you of, and I'm sure you remember that well, are 2015 and 2011, and those years were given values of 10 and 10 and a half respectively. So a lower number means less widespread, but that's not to say it is any less toxic. Severity is still going to be there and those algae can still pose health impacts to you, your kids and your pets. If you do encounter any scum areas on the lake, avoid swimming and boating in those. And even though it's going to be less widespread, still just as toxic as far as the algal impacts that you'll feel in August and September. Here's a look at several past years. 2021 is going to be a little bit higher. We were close to six last year. Keep in mind, three and a half is the forecast level this year. 2019 was unusually high 2017 also, but of course, none of those years come in comparison to 2011 and 2015. We'll continue to keep you updated as the weather conditions evolve. We could see some slight fluctuations in those numbers, but based on the spring weather we had and the recent dry spell, that's led scientists to leading about a three to four for this year's harmful algal bloom.